I'm Tom Proudfoot. I'm the Deployment Services Manager for Apogee. So brief from Craven College, um, relationship started with a successful MPS rollout, then led on conversations based on that relationship around you know, managed IT services and the sort of pain points that they have in terms of supporting such rollouts and things like that. I think the, the main sort of concerns for the college would be staffing, you know, a small IT department to deploy circa, you know, nine, uh, 900 PCs or laptops would be, you know, quite consuming for them. I'm Gareth Dixon, I'm Vice Principal of Finance and Resources at Craven College. The equipment that we had uh, was on average seven years old. Um, as a consequence, we were suffering from poor performance, low satisfaction rates from our, our students, um, inefficiencies, some machines were taking up to 15, 20 minutes to load up each day. Um, and that just was, was resulted in a, a much, a, an aging IT estate that heavily needed investment. So the education sector is continuously using technology, um, more so in recent years, particularly with COVID. Um, the amount of remote learning uh, that now happens has increased. Um, so having a reliable technology base on which to operate from has been proven essential. And we're finding that every curriculum area that we, we work in has got an increasing dependency upon technology. Um, so this investment was actually absolutely key to our success going forwards. So Apogee were provided with a brief um, of you know, what sort, sort of solutions the college wanted to uh, achieve. Uh, we took that through the framework documents, um, went away, gave some better ideas in terms of streamlining the process, if you will. As part of the process, um, and one of the briefs that Craven College provided us was ultimately the deployment side. Um, so that was taking the pain away from them, you know, freeing up their IT department. So we managed everything from you know, asset tagging devices, imaging them, ultimately deploying them to desk, carrying out training with end users um, while logging that and also bringing in um, an asset management system, which wasn't previously there through the tender process. There was a need for casting, um, Apple Macs, and also a uh, laptop loan system. So that's something that we worked with. Um, we found the, the sort of best fit in terms of a, a solution. The casting that was screen beam. Um, that's given the college a lot more options now to be sort of interactive with their students, you know, to, to cast from a mobile phone um, to, you know, a Mac or um, a Windows based device. Um, in terms of the Macs, we carried out a fairly simple uh, installation to desk of their devices and also the laptop locker system um, will be due this summer. Now that'll allow and ultimately free up staff out of hours to loan the devices to people. So we've got a few uh, options that we're currently exploring. One is um, looking at offering uh, laptops to our students. So that's through, probably through two main channels. One is availability of quality laptops on site um, to supplement the desktop positions that we've had. Uh, and the other way is uh, looking at options to provide a laptop um, purchasing solution for our students. So if they choose to buy a laptop of their own, we can look to, to offer them a, a device uh, in partnership with Apogee. Another solution that we'll be um, putting in place is a laptop safe or laptop locker. Um, it's a bit like a, an Amazon locker, which will allow the staff and students to be able to go and access uh, a laptop within the college's reception area for use on, on site. Um, that will provide a tracked system when they log the laptop out, when they log the laptop back in um, and reduce the reliance on staff being present to be able to issue those laptops. All of the um, HP desktops, laptops, every mobile device is covered on the Apogee Care Pack for the duration of the contract. Um, the sort of benefit for that for Craven College especially is, you know, it removes the uh, ticketing system through their IT, frees them up for normal BAU work um, all that's managed through Apogee, through our help desk, um, and is automated as well on our portal. Uh, staff have been overwhelmed with the quality of the product, particularly after the um, underinvestment uh, that we'd experienced for many, many years. Um, as I mentioned earlier, seven years worth of seven year old equipment um, wasn't performing. Um, as a consequence, we've seen a significant reduction in the number of queries or tickets, as we call them, coming through our IT help desk in the region of 85% reduction. Uh, off the back of that. And from the, most importantly, the student side of things, we saw a 15% increase in student satisfaction with the equipment. 
um, and this was whilst the rollout was happening. Um, so that was, it's now at 91% satisfaction with the equipment. All the devices that we, um, we handed over to end users, be that students, uh, staff, have all been quite chuffed, I think. You know, uh, the initial reaction when, when, when people were coming for their, for their new equipment was it was going to be three years old and, you know, sort of cleaned up by IT. Um, I think they're all fairly shocked that there's such a big investment by the college. Every course will be uh, touched in some shape or form, whether that be through the classrooms that we've deployed the equipment in, whether it be in the Learning Resource Centre, where we carry out our directed study sessions, um, and also through the, the staff that are teaching those students with the technology that we've now given those staff, um, is enabling them to provide a much more digitally immersive uh, curriculum.